Hello and welcome to my channel. In this session, we are going to write an assembly language program to arrange a series of 32-bit numbers in ascending and descending order. So let me give you a brief introduction how to write an assembly language program in a Keel Microvision 4 editor. Okay. So first of all, to create a project, we need to click on the project here in the menu bar and click on new microvision project. Okay. Once you do that, it will ask you to uh, create a project file. Okay. So you can create your own folder here. Let me create a folder here in any workspace. Okay. Create a folder here, new folder. I'll write uh, test, test project. Okay. Test project. And you can give the name of that uh, particular project in that particular folder i am giving the name okay i will give it as test and you can see the the extension of the project file will be dot uv proj okay microvision project save it once you save it it will ask you for the selection of the microcontroller here you have to go for this nxp founded by philips and here we have to check for lpc 214 it because for all the programs, we are writing an assembly language program for LPC2148 based on ARM7 cores. Okay, based on ARM7 core. So we have to select LPC2148, search for that LPC2148 here. You can find it here and you can see the description here. It is an ARM7 TDMIS based high performance 32 bit. See all the registers are 32 bit. Of course, the ALU, everything is 32 bit here and it is a RISC microcontroller, reduced instruction set computer. Okay, RISC microcontroller with the thumb extension, 512 KB on chip flash ROM with the ISP that is in system programming and in application programming 32 KB RAM. We have 32 kilobyte of RAM. Okay, it is a vector interrupt control and there are several other information which is related to LPC2148. Now, once you select that LPC2148, you have to click on OK. OK. As you can see here, I had already selected it. Right. OK. Click on OK. OK. Then it will ask for this uh, prompt copy Philips LPC2100 startup code to project folders and add file to project. For all the software projects, you can click no. For all the hardware projects, okay, we have to click on yes, we require the startup.s uh, project folder. But as of now, I'm clicking on no. Once you do that, you can see one target folder got created here. And in that you can see also there is a source group one. So this is the group in which we need to add up our uh, ASM file that is an assembly uh, file here. Okay, now once you get this, we have to click on here file new or create an empty document. Here, okay. Now I'm going to write one small program for uh, data transfer instructions. So as you can see here, I'd written one small program for uh, uh, data transfer operations here. Okay. So once I so once I write this program, you need to save this program. Okay. You can click here, save the program, and save it in the same folder in which you have created your project file. That is a test project folder, and here you can name there name of your program okay i will write it as test itself test.asm this is an assembly program dot asm is extension for every assembly language program save it so once you save it you can see everything uh, uh, there are some colors and all that has come because it indicates uh, various types of data here so all this uh, these are the data hash whatever you give r3 r1 these are all the registers okay now uh, let me explain you this program. So this program is a, a very simple program to uh, show you the demonstration of all the data transfer operations here. So you can see TTL, this is an assembler directive and uh, uh, this is nothing but the name of your uh, program and this is the code segment uh, area. Okay, the name of the area is Proch. Okay, and this is a code segment and it is mapped to read only. This is an entry point in which we are going to write the logic of the code. Right, and uh, this is the start and stop labels which is left justified and the logic of the code we are writing towards the right uh, at least one tab space has to be given here okay now and you can see there are uh, uh, I am using R0, R1, R2, R3 four registers I am using just for the demonstration purpose here you can see the value of one is added to uh, is moved to the R0 
and uh, you can see the hexadecimal value whatever the number you write with 0x it is nothing but a hexadecimal and when it gets stored in R1 it is showing you the 32 bit value okay because all the registers in ARM 7 are of 32 bit uh, numbers okay similarly when you store the data it is going to what does R2 will store R2 is not going to store 21 R2 is going to store the hexadecimal of 21 and the hexadecimal of 21 is a uh, 15 okay because 16 ones are 16 what is the remainder is 5 so 1 and 5 1 5 will be stored so it will store it in 0x 00000015 okay and uh, if you want to copy the register from one uh, data from one register to another register you can use this operation and all. okay and this is uh, to load and store the data because uh, only two operations uh, is involved in the memory that is to load and store load is to load the data from the memory to the register and store is to store the data from the register to the memory okay it's a simple program however in the future uh, sessions i'm going to explain you each and every uh, single instructions okay anyways uh, so once you read this program you have to click on this target folder double click on the source group one it will ask you for the assembly file here uh, check for the files of type select uh, asm file here okay once you select uh, asm source file here click on uh, you click on that particular file test.asm click on add once you click on add close okay and please verify that it has been added to the group successfully or not that is test.asm once it is added now it's time to compile the program okay compile the program here you can translate it you can see there are zero errors and zero warnings and then you have to click on this uh, build okay once you have built the program you have to click on debug this is a debugging session and when you click on this debug click on ok here you can see several windows there are register windows disassembly window and uh, text editor window command window and uh, there is a memory window also okay and if you want to know see the memory you can click on here memory one okay watch one you are cables and you are uh, uh, serial windows also you can see it here and to to see that you can click on view here Okay, if the memory window is not coming, you can click on view and you can see there are so many several windows, whichever it, uh, you would like to have it. All the UART windows, you can see it in the serial windows. Memory windows, you can see it here. Memory 1, 2, 3 and uh, 4. Like to uh, see the output handle, you can make use of these options here. Okay. And if you want to increase the, uh, the font of this program, you can directly go to edit, uh, go to configuration. Okay. In the configuration, you have to go to this colors and font and click on this uh, arm editor asm files and click on this korean new okay and here you can increase the size of the program click on okay 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 and you can see that there is a change in the size of the font font size of the program now uh, uh, to uh, to uh, trace the program we can just uh, see the, uh, some options here okay uh, you can see step uh, f11 or f10 okay uh, now to go for a single step line by line execution you can see it here you can go through here move r0 comma 1 and you can see the results here see here look at here r10 x21 okay now you see what is the value stored in r2 it is 15 hexadecimal of 21 is 15 r3 will store the same value as that of r1 r0 and you're loading and storing okay that is going to use uh, some of the registers so when you use the ldr r0 comma r1 that means you are loading the data from the memory to the register so you are loading the data okay in the, the uh, which is pointed by r1 the content of that r1 content of r1 will have the data and that data is stored in memory that you are going to load it in a register r0 similarly uh, r0 data you can also send it back to the memory using str okay instructions so this is how we are going to debug the programs here fine okay now let us proceed with the the program so let us write the assembly language program to display the numbers in ascending and uh, descending order okay so first of all let us see the data segment area here so here we can see the this is a data segment area the name of the data segment is source okay src and it is in a read only mode it is mapped to read only and in that uh, data segment we have one single uh, label called as array which is assigned to the multiple data here these are all uh, 
32 bit numbers okay and all these 32 bit numbers if you want to store it in a memory location we have to use the dcd define constant data assembler directive here okay and these are the numbers 3333 and 5555 so now these are the hexadecimal numbers given here now we have to sort it okay and in this program i'm using bubble sorting technique bubble sort technique okay so the final answer should be what two three five and nine similarly we are going to display all the numbers in descending order also like nine five three and two and you can see aligned that means all the numbers which are stored in the memory locations are aligned with the boundaries that means each location uh, will store only one byte of data so to store one single full number we required four bytes of a memory location so after 4000 it goes to the 4004 4008 in that manner the arm 7 core is supporting you in storing your data in the memory right and similarly we have uh, another uh, area okay uh, for the data wherein we have uh, allocated this area as a destination here that means see we have this data here in the read only mode that means we cannot uh, we can only read these numbers but we cannot swap the numbers if you want to restore the number or rewrite the number in some other fashion we may not be able to do that so what we are going to do here is we are going to just read this value here and paste it in uh, the destination area okay destination area right that's the reason we had created one more uh, uh, data segment here by the name dst and we had given a space of 10 10 memory locations okay so we have done that and this is also been aligned okay so since we cannot rewrite this data we have created another data uh, segment area in which we are going to copy the same numbers into this space okay so now let us start the program uh, the first line you can see the assembler directive ttl this is the title and this is the title of the program ascending or descending and uh, all the logic of the code has to be written in the code segment and the name of the code segment is ac dsc ascending and descending okay and this is mapped to read only memory okay and this is the entry point in which we write the logic of the program and these are all the labels which i'm going to tell you at the later stages while i'm tracing the programs okay now remember one thing that always the, the logic of the code has to be written at least by giving at least one tap space towards right okay one tap space towards right now uh, as i mentioned you that first of all we have to read this data and we have to copy in a destination destination means that is the second data segment area okay now to do that we have to write we have to write a uh, program which will read the data and paste it in the, it in another segment okay now how to do that first let us try to initialize the counter to 4 so why we are doing r1 comma hash 4 means we have four numbers here okay that we have four numbers to be sorted now here uh, if there are more than four numbers you can give it has five so for example if there are five numbers you can give the number to five now as of now in my program it is only four numbers so we had given it to four and that four will be allocated to the register r1 okay we are moving the value four to r1 hash means it is a data okay now we know that uh, there are four numbers now one by one we have to read the value okay to do that i need to know the address of that uh, array address of that array because all these values are stored where it is stored in a memory these are all stored in a memory okay in higher level language we call something as a variable no? here also it, this is a variable but the thing is uh, if you define the variable it is understood that it is an area in a memory location so everything is stored in a memory okay and in uh, lpc2148 arm7 we have only two operations involved in a memory the first operation is to store another operation is to load load is going to load the data uh, from the memory to the register and store is going to store the data from the register to the memory now our task is to load the data right we have to load the first uh, value which is stored in a memory location and put it into the register and to load that data we need to know the address address of what the address of this array that is the base address in the base address the first value is stored okay as on then we increment the base address we can be able to access the other datas also 
okay now to do that we are going to access the address of that array and store it in r2 using ldr assembler directive ldr means load register load the address how how can you tell it is address because we are written equal to here so this is going to load the address of the first element of the array and store it in r2 okay similarly similarly i want to know the address of the destination yes or no because once i read this i need to store it here okay i'm just taking the value from one end and i'm putting it into another end that is why the name is kept as source and destination okay now to put it to this particular destination even i need to know the address of this dst that's the reason we are written ldr r3 comma equal to dst so this is going to load the address of the first element position of the destination to which i need to paste it okay so all two and r3 is holding the address now what is my duty my duty is to load the first element of array into r4 now r2 is pointed to the base array yes or no base array base array means what are this first value okay this is the base element okay base address right now how to get that value because since r2 is holding the base address of the array in the base address you have the first element and to fetch that first element you have to write content of r2 correct content of r2 okay now whatever is there in r2 content of r2 that you put it in r4 now r4 is storing what 0x 3333 correct and you increment that pointer with the four bytes towards up direction what what does it mean this is called as a post index register it means that uh, first you load what is there in the uh, memory which is pointed by r2 to r4 and then increment that r2 with the four bytes okay so now why four bytes because this is one byte this is two byte okay this is three byte the this one and this is the fourth byte okay after four bytes means one two three and four it will go to the the pointer is locating to the the second element right so now i have loaded successfully to the r4 now what i need to do i read one value from the memory now my job is to paste that same value into the destination and to do that i use store as i already mentioned to you you can either load or you can store there is no other operations happens in a memory here every single arithmetic or logical or any other operations involved it happens only in the registers not in the memory memory is used only to load the data or to store the data now since we have loaded the data from one end it's time to store that the same data to the destination and the destination address is holded by r3 register right now r4 is holding the first value that first value put it into the content of r3 and increment it again by 4 yes or no so now what you have done you have taken 0x3333333 and stored it in the first element of a destination done you have just copied one data and pasted it into the another data done right now what we need to do our first value is pasted how many values are left now three so then please subtract it subtract it this states as sub yes means subtract with the status status means it is going to affect the flag okay it is going to affect the flag so subtract with the status r1 comma r1 comma 1 means your r1 minus 1 okay these are all triadic instructions r1 minus 1 that is 4 minus 1 3 and that stores in r1 now compare that r1 with the 0 this is used to check whether you had done you had copied down all the values or not as of now no because when you do cmp r1 comma 0 cmp is going to work as a subtraction okay r1 comma 0 will be like 3 minus 0 3 minus 0 is how much 3 is it not equal to is it branch or not equal if it is not equal to 0 then please go to the please repeat the same steps uh, until you copy and paste it into the destination area yes of course now it is not equal because when it become equal only when it is zero okay that time this condition will fail as of now this condition satisfies and it keeps uh, reading the next value since you have written r2 plus 4 no now the pointer is pointing to the second element okay immediately once you read the pointer will point to the third element immediately you read this well the pointer will point to the fourth element similarly in the same fashion as i explained you earlier it works okay now till here what we are done we are just to copy it down the data from the source and pasted into the destination why did we do that because here we were not able to swap the numbers why because this is mapped only to read only if you want to uh, if you if you ask me that uh, okay shall i uh, uh, what if i can do uh, so that i can swap the number then you will make it to read write 
read write if you do read write then it can be read also it can be written okay but since i would like to uh, show you that how uh, why the things are happening like this just to give a demo i am written the code in this particular fashion okay now so i hope uh, all of you are clear till here now what now let me tell you the logic of the uh, code we are going to write it now now to do the ascending or descending we have to use one of the sorting technique there are several sorting algorithms available okay we have uh, selection sort we have insertion sort bubble sort uh, okay quick sort merge sort like that so many kind of sorting algorithms we have and one of the most simplest one is a bubble sort that's the reason i had uh, applied the bubble sort algorithm in this program so before i proceed further let me give a small uh, introduction to the bubble sort by with the help of an example so as you can see if i take the number 3295 here 3295 here okay so what it does means it is going to check the alternate numbers and try to swap if the numbers are smaller so 3 and 2 will be taken first among which uh, the 2 is smaller so it swaps the 2 and 3 rest of the numbers will be kept as it is okay next swapping will be done with the 3 and 9 uh. so 3 is already smaller than 9 so it will be same so the third uh, column will be as same as that of the second column and finally 9 and 5 will be compared of course 5 is lesser than 9 it swaps and 5 will come just above the 9 so the final result is 2 3 5 9 so you can see in some of the examples within a single pass we are able to execute the program because we are going to have the output but have a look of the second example here so here if i take a number 4352 in the second iteration it will take you to 3452 after that 3452 because there is no more uh, swapping and last one it is 3425 but if you can see in this single pass okay single pass will be done with the n minus 1 iteration that means if you have four values uh, there will be n minus 1 uh, in uh, inner pass and outer pass okay so there are only three passes here so this is the question okay so as you can see in the first pass also we are not able to get the right output here so this is not at start sorted okay now we have to take this as an input the output of the first pass will be taken as an input in the second pass and do the same procedure again until we get all the numbers sorted so here also we can see there are uh, this 3 and 2 is not sorted so we went to the third pass and finally we are able to get the sorted order now the same thing same concept we are going to uh, uh, write a assembly language program for the same concept so we are taken a the bubble sort algorithm in this uh, program okay now i will go back to the program i hope you all understood this now let us try to do that job now you can see the first uh, r7 so r7 is going to hold the number of passes as i told you that number of passes we are taken how many uh, data here how many numbers are there four that means number of passes will be how much of course three okay it is three here okay number of pass is 3 next what we do means we are going to tell the number of inner comparison inner comparison is also 3 as i told you there are two passes outer pass and inner pass here this is an inner pass guys this is an inner pass and these are the outer pass first pass second pass third pass. these are the outer pass so two passes are required here okay so r7 is also uh, allocated with the value 3 and r1 is also assigned with the value 3 now what do we need to do where are our data our data is there in the destination uh, memory then please load the address of the destination and put it in r0 now what have you got i have got my first value what is that first value 0x3333333333 now what do i need to do i need to compare this value with the second number now since i got the first value okay how do i get the first value if i put the content of that r0 i will be able to get the first value but how do i get the second value that means i need to use post index register that means r0 plus 4 then only i'll be able to access the second value now let me uh, show you here look at here carefully so we had loaded the address okay we had loaded only the address not the data now look at here in r4 what we are going to store take r4 sorry uh, I should be here yeah okay now we are loaded the address of the destination in r0 okay now load the content of that r0 r0 is holding what uh, address in that address what data is stored uh, 0x333 okay store put it in r2 put it in r2 and increment this r0 pointer with the four bytes okay so this r0 is holding what uh, it is loaded uh, loaded with the first number now r0 is pointing to which value this value 22222 two, 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 two. okay now what you do 
store that store that r4 into the content of r3 that means you are storing the first element to the destination uh, sorry you are going to okay so here we have loaded successfully the successfully the the first value in r2 r3 is going to hold the second value how do we do that just to put content of r0 okay here in the first time content of r0 was holding the first data then you incremented with the four no that's why now the r0 is pointing to the second uh, number and that value are uh, loading it into the r3 so r2 is the loaded with the first number r3 is loaded with the second number now please compare r2 with r3 okay when you do the comparison check whether the first number is uh, uh, lesser than the second number check whether the first number is lesser than the second number so what happens if the first number is lesser then you go for swapping if it is not uh, then you go if it is high go to the check here decrement the counter if it is already smaller okay go here in the check what happens if the first number is smaller less than then go to this loop that is check loop this is the second loop okay here right go to here and here you do what uh, your first uh, pass uh, okay you can decrement the counter by one because first one line is over one first column is over now compare that r1 with zero this will say that whether you are uh, done with all the inner pass as of now no if it is not equal then again move back to the same line of code here again go to the second value with the third value now you are done with what uh, 3333 with 2222 okay so there was a swap if there is a swap you do it okay now you can see here if there is a swap okay you can see here compare r2 with r3 now if it is higher you go for check now what happens if it is lower okay if you are not going to check so for example let me do it in this way let me put uh, ascending i will put uh, b l s here let me show it you the first the ascending order itself so ascending order is branch on lower and same branch on lower or same okay check compare the two numbers now in this case what happens here this is not going to go for check because r3 minus r2 the r2 minus r3 that is 3 minus 2 3 minus 2 is how much 1 so 1 means what the one it is not lower nor it is same then it is going to swap now when it swaps i just have a look here it is going to store the r2 into the content of r0 now the content of r0 is what the content of r0 is holding what the just to see here content of r0 is holding the first value okay you just uh, interchange the position that means in place of 2 uh, you put 3 in place of 3 you put 2 and to do that operation you have to decrement the pointer by uh, 4 bytes decrement the pointer by 4 bytes okay decrement the pointer put that r3 into the content of r r0 okay first you do what uh, store the content of r0 into r2 decrement the pointer put that r3 into the content of uh, r0 so now what have you done means you have done the swap you have swapped the two numbers okay and since the pointer is pointing for the first element you have to add again r0 with the 4 so that you can restore the pointer to the second position means what you have done means 003333 and 002222 correct uh, among 3 and 2 which is uh, smaller 2 is smaller so in the first pass only i need to swap right so th these two lines are used to, to swap okay so what i did means uh, uh, my pointer was here okay now i need to store this value to the first pointer that's why we are decremented this with the minus four i hope you're getting okay the pointer was in uh, here now to put that pointer to here i need to decrement by minus four and put this content into the first location that's all okay then add r naught comma four means now the pointer should be where uh, again to here now three now uh, this become uh, three this become two and now that uh, 3 and 9 we are going to come back okay that's why we are restored at the pointer after that again uh, subtract the r1 by 1 what was r1 holding r1 was holding the inner pass correct no so first inner pass is over check whether we are done with all the passes no if not equal repeat the steps see similarly you have to repeat for all the values of the inner pass okay once you're done with all the inner pass uh, now it's time for the outer pass means first pass is over if you still not got the answer you have to go for the outer pass that is r7 
again uh, subtract r7 with 1 check whether you are done with all the passes okay inner passes or outer passes if it is not equal then go for here pass start from here again repeating the same steps again and again okay until all the numbers are sorted okay so first of all what we are going to do we are going to copy the content from the source to the destination because it is in a read only mode here okay read only we cannot edit it right after that we have we have understood by the example that we have we have uh, inner pass these are the inner pass and the first pass second pass third pass are the outer pass that time we st stored two register r1 and r7 and then we have uh, uh, stored three to the r7 because if there are four numbers then three uh, passes will be available similarly with the case of outer pass or inner pass okay then we loaded the address of the destination and we stored the first value into the r2 incremented it uh, the register to the four and stored the second value and checked whether the first value is uh, smaller than the second value if it is uh, smaller you go and subtract the decrement the pointer and uh, compare with the second value if not uh, then we have to go for the second iterations so similarly in the same fashion we have kept on moving and uh, until we get uh, all the numbers sorted the very important thing is this one okay here bls is used for uh, uh, ascending if you put this ls to hi okay this is for descending higher value okay you can also put hs also okay but uh, usually we have to use a bhl okay now we'll execute the program and we'll see for the ascending order later we'll uh, edit it uh, the program and uh, see for the descending order also okay remember these two lines are for uh, swapping please do remember why we do that why we are decremented this by four bytes because to swap again the pointer has to be decremented by four bytes so that we can put the second value in the first value that's all and again we had incremented the pointer so that second and third value we have to compare as per the uh, the examples we had explained you okay so now let us uh, save the program okay and we will translate the program you can see there are uh, no errors and warnings uh, build the program and now it's time to go for the debugging session okay in the debug session uh, we can see there are several windows register window disassembly window text editor command window and memory window okay we'll be able to see the output in a memory here okay so now uh, if i want to go with the one uh, one by one iterate, uh, step by step uh, line of execution it will take too much of time so what i'll do means i'll go with the one shot okay you have to click on this yeah, or f5 okay if i press this one now you can see here i hope it is visible to all of you you can see the numbers here 2222333555599 two, 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 three, 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 five, 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 that means numbers are sorted the numbers are sorted as per the program similarly similarly if i put uh, uh, instead of ls lower or same instead of this if i put uh, hi okay if after that please uh, uh, retranslate and rebuild your program okay and then now if you see you can see the this in a reverse order that is a descending order 9999 five 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 three 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 two 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 like this okay so uh, you can also use any other algorithm other than bubble sort you can use insertion sort or selection sort one should know how that algorithm works and based on that you can use uh, assembler directives to write the program here okay i had used a bubble sort uh, algorithm to uh, display the number in ascending or in a descending order so if you have any other queries regarding to this program, you can post your comment in the comment section. So thank you so much for watching.